Good afternoon, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good right now because right now I'm not watching a Jesus Freak video. So I'm tip top. Fucking great. Last night I wasn't so good because it's all that video down there. You should watch it too, then come back and watch this one because I just want to quickly get something off of my chest that I think most reasonable, intelligent people that watch my videos are going to understand. But this is really just for Jesus Freak. Just for you, buddy. Just for you. Um, I, I was watching your titty bar video, and by the way, I refer to strip clubs as titty bar. Because titty bar is a lot more fun to say than strip club. Strip club. I don't like that. I like titty bar. It's a fun word to say. That's what I'm going to say. So anyway, I saw your video where you were filming the titty bar with no windows. Apparently, Jenna Jameson owns this titty bar. Now, let me start by saying, you said that that was like a fucking eyesore in the community and that you know, they're just filthy places. I got to tell you, as far as titty bars go, that's a good-looking goddamn titty bar. And I've been to some filthy titty bars. I'm here to tell you, motherfucker, like $5 lap dance titty bars and shit. If you just take, like, a trip up my street and just hang a left on the main road out here, there's, like, five miles of filthy titty bars. If you want, I'll take you on a personal tour down Filthy Titty Bar Avenue. Right? We can go together. We can check them out. I'll show you what a dirty titty bar is. That one looked really nice. It looks like the kind of place I couldn't even get into, to be honest with you. Now, anyway, you're going on about why this joint doesn't have any windows. You're saying it doesn't have any windows because people don't want to be exposed to the quote-unquote filth inside. I got news for you, you dishonest, disingenuous cack. Okay? Ask every fucking man that drives by the titty bar if he'd like to go in and see the dancing naked ladies. Alright? A very fucking small percent of the people you ask are going to say no. Uh, maybe they think you're like a fucking... Like a fucking cop or some shit. I don't know. Or they think they're being watched. Or maybe their wife hired you to ask. Who knows? Who knows? But, a very, but the point is, like, 90%, at least, 90% of the guys that you ask that to are going to be like, sure, I would love to go into the titty bar and see the dancing naked ladies. Why? Because the naked female body, in my personal opinion, is fucking beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, and there's not a goddamn thing filthy or disgusting about it. Okay? There. I said it. I, I don't know what that makes me. Maybe, may, and then you go on to say that it teaches... Like the kind of like like stripping and, and porn and, and all that good shit, like teaches people that that women are objects, right? The whole objectification bullshit, the whole nuclear night approach to uh, titty bars and porn, right? Listen, I've been in any number of titty bars, okay, and I've seen any number of pornographic films in my life, and I still don't think women are objects that I can just use. At my own disposal. I don't look at a woman and see a goddamn footstool. Okay? That's not the way it is. You know why I don't see women that way? You know why? Because I'm not a goddamn sociopath. Okay? I know the fucking difference between a thing and a human being. Right? And, and no matter what that human being wants to do with his or her body, that doesn't change what they are. They're still people. If you don't want your fucking kid to grow up thinking that women are sexual objects, okay, then teach her that, you cack. That's all the fuck you gotta do. Teach her that. Sit her down and explain it to her, okay? And there's, and just to say that these things in society that you don't like are responsible for certain behaviors and shit, I mean, give me a fucking break. Like sexual, like dirty sexual thoughts, evil sexual thoughts are caused by pornography and strip clubs. No, 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 no. Let me try to explain this to you. Pornography and strip clubs exist because the sexual thoughts already did. Long time ago, right? Long fucking time ago. Titty bars, pornography, Playboy, Penthouse, Hustler, it all exists because a, a, a bunch of guys are sitting around right now while I'm making this video going, dude, dude, George, I'd sure like to see naked ladies, 
right? And and some other smarter guy went, I could probably make some fucking money off this. Would you like me to pay you thousands of dollars to take your shirt off? It's not complicated. There's nothing you can do about it. Stop fucking acting like sex and fucking strip clubs are the most horrid fucking problem in the goddamn world we had today. Sex is filthy. Fuck that. I mean, I really hate living in a goddamn world where, where sex is considered dirty and violence is fucking promoted everywhere you look. I mean, suck my ass. By the way, while I'm ranting, I just want to say this. Stand By Me was the worst fucking movie ever. Why does anyone like that movie? It sucked. Stand By Me is a piece of shit. Stop telling me about it. It's the worst movie ever fucking made. Okay, and fuck Jesus Freak. That's really all I want to say today. Peace.